Robinson here. Yeah. Uh, WWIrishboxing.com where Anthony Fitzgerald just after the return of the Mac press conference. What did you make of the antics at the top table? It was a bit reserved to a point, even though you had a bit of a go at Pascal. Yeah, we were only allowed to say a little few words, you know. We had to sort of hold the back a little bit, so I enjoyed a bit though that uh, I did get. Do you, love, does that band, do you use that banter as fuel to motivate you or is it just your natural character? No, it's just my natural self, you know, like, I just say how I feel and the way things are, I just say what's on my mind and that's it. And just even looking at you, you look a little bit fitter than, than, than last or recent fights, are you, I presume you're at your fittest ever even now. Yeah, I'm at the fittest now at the minute, but I'm, like, I'm nearly at my weight as well, four weeks out, so I just concentrate now on the boxing. And with this sort of five years in the making, we're here with the big signs in the background and the head to heads. Can you believe it's happened? Not really, no, it's still still the excited about it, you know. So. And ticket wise, how have you done it? Tickets? I just can't get enough tickets. Like, we only got so many tickets as well. And like, even today, I was trying to get more tickets and I just can't get them. So it's definitely a home crowd for yourself? Yeah, well, like, there'll be a home crowd there, there'll be people there for Macho then as well. Like, I have to hold a Dublin behind me, as you've seen here today, like, everybody here was for me. We were just saying to Spike there as well, Eddie said the winner gets a, a big fight in the O2. Is that a nice carrot to be dangled in front of you? Yeah, it is. I think it's a bit much, though, to be, you know, to be even thinking about now. Like, he'd probably go think about the fight in the O2 and what have you. I'm not thinking about that, I'm thinking about this one. And then when I win, then I think about the O2. Yeah. And are you confident going to you said you're gonna give him a boxing lesson? Yeah, I'm going in and I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a boxing lesson. Like, I'm gonna stand there and I'm gonna fight. In your last fight, I think Seamus said you sort of you boxed a lot more and it wasn't the come forward Anthony Fitzgerald, but will you be able to sort of keep that calm and box more this way or is this just war and No, I'm just going in for a war. Head on straight Head on, on straight in. Yeah. There's no hold spar head I'm going straight in and I'm going in there with the fight. And do you think that you know he wouldn't be able for that sort of pressure? Or well, is, I don't is, know. Is hopefully he is, and uh, hopefully. What well, I mean is, is is that emotion just taking over, or is that a tactic where you think that? No, that's just just me. <laughs> it's just me. Like I'm going in there for a fight. Yeah. And I hope like he reckons he's coming in for a fight. So. Do you think it's fight of the year contender? Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You just see from the press conference there, and a few words that was exchanged there, it is going to be. And someone, or Roddy said about he dropped you with a body shot or inspiring initially. It didn't seem to body at him much. But yeah, he did. Yeah, sure. My first fight was at 76 kilos or 77 kilos or something. So I hadn't even got my first fight when I sparred him. So what was it? I was going around with a belly. Yeah. You know, so for yourself, I'd have dropped me Johnny with one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I did drop I, you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't allow any of that to bother me. No. Like, and and he hit me with his yeah. best, I smiled at him. The dam hit me with his best, I smiled at him. So I'm just going to And do you think if they're looking way. into that, well then, they're, they're making they're a mistake? They're in for a big mistake. Big mistake they're in for. And just even it got a little bit heated, I think. And Eddie was saying, sort of respect boxing. I know it's probably going to get more heated, but will you shake his hand at, after the fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will have a bit. I have got respect for him. I have mm. respect for anybody, whether they're the white collar or whether they're not. Yeah. Like if they step under them ropes, they deserve respect. And Spike has been stepped under the ropes, so he deserves a bit of respect. But that all goes out the window as soon as the gloves come on. Nice. And then I shake his hand after. Thanks for that. No I appreciate it. Well